Hello friends, welcome. So in the previous video we created the migration for post. Now how we can get uh, posts and how we can create or edit or update and delete posts with Laravel. Let's go to the Laravel documentation and we're going to search for the model and we have the eloquent ORM. Let's get started here and go to the introduction. And here we have the Laravel includes eloquent, an object relational mapper or ORM for short, that makes it uh, enjoyable to interact with your database. So when using eloquent, each database table has a corresponding model. So in this case, we have a post, this post needs to have the corresponding model and the name of the model is going to be post, singular post. That is used to interact with, your, with that table. In addition to retrieve records from the database table, eloquent models allow you to insert, update and delete records from the table as well. Now, generating a model. To generate a model, we can run the PHP artisan make model and the name in our terminal. Or to generate also model and migration, we need to run the PHP artisan make model, the name of the model, and dash dash migration or dash my dash m for short. Also, we have some other flags for factory, flight seeder, controller, controller resource request, MVC for migration factory seeder and controller all and so on. I highly recommend for recommend you for anything you want, go and check the Laravel documentation. And here we have some examples. Now let's see the table names. So by convention, we have here the snake case plural name of the class will be used as the table name unless another name is explicitly defined. So when we create a, a model flight in the migrations, migration is going to be flights. So the name of the model in plural. And if we have a so, for example, if we have blog post, we, in our case we have just post, but if we have blog post, and let's come here and just open this one, and just I'm going to type here to show you. So if we have the model blog post like this, now the migration is going to be blog underscore post. Okay, if we have if we want to be block post like this, we need to write the model block post like this. In our case, we have a post. Now we need to create a model post, singular post. So let's go and open the terminal. I'm going to open the iter and create a new model. So PHP, you need to go inside the code directory and here cd in the essential okay and now run the PHP artisan make colon model and give it the name in our case post hit enter and if we navigate now to the app directory models we have now the post model and this post model has a namespace as factory and also extends the base model now let's work with a thinker I am in here and I'm going to say php artisan 
Tinker just to show you how we can get data from the database based on this model. And I'm going to say here dollar sign post is going to be app backslash models backslash and post now i got this post here post model and i'm going to call the static all method and hit enter and we get a empty collection right now because we don't have any data in our post let's create one manually so i'm going to say here first post body here just say body hit enter save it and now if i run again we get that po first post you see here app model post we have the id which is two the title the body and is published by default is zero and we have recreated that null and updated that no okay friends that's it about the this video hope you enjoy see you in the next video friends all the best